Hi, this is Nick at 99bats.com. Today we're going to show you a couple different ways that we like to install laser skin bat wraps. Uh, right now they come in 40 different colors and 3 different thicknesses, 0.5, 1.1, and 1.8. Uh, the different ways we're going to show you how to install today are going to be for a right-handed batter, a left-handed batter, the 1-dot overlap method, the 2-dot overlap method, and we're going to show you how to install a laser skin onto an axe handle bat. To install your laser skin, we like to use a pair of scissors and a roll of electrical tape. For this bat, we're going to be using a 1.1, the new neon pink color. So every laser skin includes the 39 inch laser skin bat wrap and a piece of finishing tape. So one thing about the bat wrap is both sides of it are tapered. Uh, one side has a longer, thinner taper and the other is kind of shorter and fatter. Um, I like to start with the uh, short side so that I have the longer, thinner side to make a smooth transition at the end. So we're going to wrap the first bat for a right-handed batter and using the one-dot overlap method. Now for a right-handed batter, that means that we're going to wrap it from left to right. So I'm going to hold the bat in my left hand and wrap it with my right hand. So we're going to start by placing the edge right where the handle meets the knob. We're going to come around, not applying too much tension. You don't want to stretch it out too much. And then when you come back to where the two pieces meet, you're going to angle down and get the edge of the wrap just covering the first dots there. So this is as close as we like to go. Some people will line up the edges like that, but we like to do the, uh, the one dot overlap method just to be sure that we get the adhesive on the lizard skin and the handle at the same time to make sure it's secure and it doesn't fail. So you're just going to want to follow that one dot all the way down, applying just enough tension so that you don't wrinkle it. And then you also want to be sure to, uh, to just release a little bit of uh, the backing at a time. You don't want to release too much at once or else you'll have the litter skin stick to itself and that wouldn't be good. So you just continue all the way down the bat. Now, lizard skins are pretty long, so a lot of baseball players don't like their grip to go, you know, very far up the handle. So in this case, I'm going to cut this a little bit short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to try to replicate this angle, but I'm going to cut it off about right here. So I continue with my one dot overlap all the way down. I just finish it off. Now that angle that I cut is going to ensure that I finish nice and straight. Now what we like to do to finish it off is secure it with a little bit of electrical tape before we apply the finishing tape. This just ensures that it's super secure. We like to go around twice. So let's do two full circles right there. Break it off. Now we're ready to apply the finishing tape. You just want to be sure to cover up your electrical tape. Don't pull this too tight. You don't need to. Just enough tension to get it around there. And there you go. So that is the one dot overlap method for a right-handed batter. Now we're going to show you how to wrap a bat for a left-handed batter using the two dot overlap method. Now the main difference in wrapping a bat for a left-handed batter is you're going to wrap the bat from right to left instead of left to right. I'm going to hold the bat with my right hand and wrap with my left hand. I'm going to start the wrap right where the handle meets the knob. Come all the way around, being sure to only let a little of the backing off at a time so that you don't have the wrap stick to itself. And then when you come back and meet the transition, you're going to go and you're going to cover the second dot from the bottom. You're going to follow that all the way down. Now the two dot overlap, what it's going to do is it's going to make the grip feel a little bit thicker 
and it's going to create kind of a, a raised ridge feel all the way down the handle. Almost feels like it gives you a little bit more grip. All right, I'm going to finish up. We like to finish off with two wraps of electrical tape just to make it extra secure. Now we're ready to apply our piece of finishing tape. Just like this. Just cover that electrical tape. You don't want to pull this too tight. Just tight enough to get the wrinkles out. And there you go. Two dot overlap method for a left-handed batter. Now we're going to show you how to wrap a laser skin on an axe handle bat. Now the main difference in wrapping this for an axe handle bat is the way you start it. Since the axe handle is kind of a unique shape, you're going to go ahead and you're going to start right here at this angle here. So angle it up to the top of the handle there, and then as you come around, you're going to stay parallel to the handle, then come back through and cross over the beginning, kind of an X pattern. And I'm, going to, I'm doing this for a right-handed batter, and I'm going to use the one dot overlap method. So I'm going to come over to my one dot, line that edge up right on that dot, covering that up, and just follow that all the way down. You have to apply a little bit of tension to stop any wrinkling until you get down to the uh, uniform part of the handle. And once you get down to about here, it's smooth sailing. Don't forget, only peel a little backing off at a time so that you don't have it stick to itself. And you just come all the way down. And she's nice and straight. We like to finish off, secure it with two wraps of electrical tape. Around once, around twice. Break it off. Now we're ready to apply our piece of finishing tape. Cover up that electrical tape. Don't need to pull it too tight. Nice and smooth. And that's how you do a right-handed one dot overlap on an axe handle bat. So if you guys want to purchase a lizard skin, be sure to go to 99bats.com where it's always free shipping for lizard skins. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you like these videos and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe.